Welcome to Aviation News Update. This time around, we have a lot of things for you. The first one has to do with the 2024 budget. The 2024 budget has been read, but unfortunately, there isn't much for the aviation sector to smile about. In the 2023 budget, the National Career Project received a mention, and timelines were given for the commencement of that particular project. However, in the 2024 budget, it's mute about the National Career Project. It means that it's not happening this year, as we already predicted. If things stay as they are, I don't see it happening next year unless government change course and find a better strategic partner to partner government in this endeavor. Flying taxis are no longer a dream. It's happening. In the US, four licenses, about four licenses have been given by the US FAA for companies to start trying out their prototypes. Just a few days ago, Air Chateau International has committed to buying 100 flying taxis produced by Archer Aviation, which is based in the US. Air Chateau International intends to deepen its footprint in the UAE market and make flying taxis a common phenomenon. Africa is poorly connected when it comes to aviation. A lot of times, people flying to Morocco and other neighboring countries up north will have to fly to Europe and then fly back into Northern Africa. This is what the Africa Civil Aviation Commission is trying to change. It is targeting that by 2025, there should be 30% increase in fee freedom rights. Now, what are fee freedom rights? If, let's say, you are an airline from Rwanda, you fly into Ghana, it says that you can apply to the Ghanaian government that from your home base, when you touch down in Ghana, I want to fly from here to Ivory Coast. Give me permission to fly from here to Ivory Coast. Once the Ivorian authorities also approve it, they can also fly there as well. So it becomes like from Kigali to Accra, Accra, Abidjan, Abidjan back to Accra, Accra back to uh, Kigali. That's fee freedom rights. And that's what the African Civil Aviation Commission is saying that it expects to see, it's working towards a 30% increase in fee freedom rights so that the continent can be well connected aviation world. The Dubai issue has just ended and it was a beautiful sight for everybody who attended the event. Most importantly, airlines placed orders for new planes. Why? They want to grow and provide you, the passenger, of more comfort. The first of those is Emirates. Emirates opened the Dubai Air Show with 110 additional aircraft orders. 95 of those being wide-bodied uh, Boeing planes worth $58 billion. The next is 15 Airbus A350-900 valued at $6 billion. So Emirates, as an airline, ordered 110 planes valued at over $60 billion. Next in line is Africa's biggest carrier, Ethiopian Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines also ordered 84 planes worth $23 billion from both Boeing and Airbus. Ethiopia has an ambitious plan. They want to grow rapidly and connect every city on the continent and uh, increase their uh, footprints abroad as well. So they bought these planes to help them grow and to afford uh, passengers more comfort when they are traveling. So those who have dreamed about living within the airport enclave, it's now possible. Everything is one minute away. There's a new development uh, being undertaken by I2 Development Ghana Limited on the, at the same site where the old Ghana Airways plane used to sit. This development has a lot of amenities and is good for families, individuals, business uh, leaders who come to town often for business trips, etc. and desire to live in a hotel type apartment they can easily sign up for some of these. There's a one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. From the I2 development site, you are directly looking at the Terminal 3 of the Kotka International Airport. Everything you need is one minute away, from the airport to posh hotels, restaurants, etc. This I2 development is the closest you've come to living within the airport. The holiday season is upon us. Next week, we'll tell you how to get very good discounts on air tickets. visit aviationghana.com for the latest in aviation and travel news. You can also contact us on the email and telephone numbers indicated below. Thank you for watching.